President-elect Donald Trump is doubling down on his campaign promise to deport millions of migrants, but Democrat mayors, at least in some cities, are now vowing to fight back. But will it all work? Joining us now to discuss is Mark Morgan, the former acting commissioner of Customs and Border Protection and visiting fellow at the Heritage Foundation. Welcome so much, Mark, as always. Let's, good morning, Angela. Good morning. Let's get to this post that uh, Donald Trump uh, put out just a few days ago, seeming to really confirm his plans to declare a national emergency and to use military assets, he says, to deport uh, millions of migrants. At least one Republican we know right now is pushing back on that, and that is Rand Paul. I'm 100 percent supportive of going after the 15,000 murderers, the 13,000 sexual assault uh, perpetrators, rapists, all these people. Let's send them on their way to prison or back home to another prison. So I would say all points bulletin, all in. But you don't do it with the Army because it's illegal. Now, obviously, you're the expert on this. When it comes to you, don't do it um, with the Army because it's illegal. What is legal, what's not, Mark? Yeah, so look, generally, I agree with most of what Senator Rand Paul uh, states on, on the majority of the issues here. I'm going to have to disagree a little bit because I think he misunderstands the application of the United States mm -hmm. military. And there's a couple of important things. First, on our, on our physical border, we've been using the United States military for a very long time, both Republican and Democrat-led administrations. In fact, the military is at our border right now as we speak. Secondly, on an, with respect to uh, uh, interior enforcement, the removal operations, once the president declares a national emergency, it does free up additional military funding and resources. And what's very clear and what I don't think Rand Paul is being fair with his depiction is, is how the military is going to be utilized. We're not talking about rolling troops and tanks, you know, in the city streets and actually having them arrest individuals. We're talking about the United States military helping with transportation, i.e. aviation assets, as well as providing temporary shelters uh, to be able to process those we've apprehended uh, uh, prior to them being removed. So that's the type of military resources we're talking about, and that is legal. I think that's important to point out because people have a picture in their minds that people are going to be storming into homes and breaking up families and tearing people apart, but you're saying that's not going to be how the military will be used in the situation. That, that, that's exactly right, Angela. And so we need to take a step back and remember we have a law enforcement entity uh, under ICE ERO that does that every day. And again, the military is going to be used uh, as a support role, uh, more of a logistic support role, uh, like they have been doing for a very long time at our fiscal border. Now, we've been telling our viewers all morning just how dem some Democratic mayors are promising really to fight back on Trump's deportation plans. You have the, the mayor of Denver saying basically he's prepared in some cases to go to jail and protest of mass deportation efforts and even encouraging citizens in some cases to kind of kind of push back on this. Now, we've seen this in the reverse. We've seen uh, Republican governors in states like Texas pushing back against Biden's mandates or what's going Biden's policies when it comes to the border. Kind of reverse this for our viewers in terms of what we could see Democrats do and do they have a play against Trump and his policies when it comes to mass deportation? So there is no play here. The law is very clear. If you're in the country illegally, you will be removed. It's that simple. And think about it. Now we have political uh, elected politicians that they're saying, we're, we're going to take a step further. We're not just going to not help, which that's their prerogative, but that we have we have a, a politician to say we're going to actively resist the federal government from enforcing a law. And they're actually encouraging their citizens to resist. So not only are they putting themselves in peril of violating federal law, but they're also encouraging their citizens to violate federal law. That's unconscionable. And a second to that is, look, the law is very clear, 1324. If anyone impedes the federal government or supports or assists someone that's in the country illegally, that's a federal crime. And they will be prosecuted, I believe, under this administration. The second part of that, Angela, think about this from a common sense perspective. You have a politician that, that's trying to claim that they're protecting American citizens or, or the citizens of their city by thwarting federal law enforcement. Well, the opposite's going to happen. They're actually going to try to protect someone that's in the country illegally that's committed another crime. They're, they're going to protect the criminals and let, allow them to be released back in their city rather than work with law enforcement to remove them. It's absurd. It makes no sense and actually jeopardizes the safety of the citizens in their state. And quickly, before we leave, we're talking about 1,500 migrants uh, formed a caravan in southern Mexico hoping to cross the U.S. before the inauguration. What do you know on that? Do you think that could be stopped? What's the deal here? We're looking at some, some video, apparently. Yeah, th this is this is not uh, surprising to us. We see this every time uh, a president either comes in with strong border security rhetoric or weak border mm -hmm. security rhetoric. Uh, the migrants and the cartels 
uh, react. So right now, the the, the cartels, uh, the, the the facilitators of these mass caravans are telling the migrants, now's the time. Trump's going to come in, he's going to secure it, so you have a short window to get here. That's what's causing these caravans. The question you ask is really unknown, is what is mm-hmm. Mexico going to do? Uh, mm-hmm. Are they going to stop it? Or are they going to facilitate it? That's yet to be seen. All right, former Acting Commissioner of Customs and Border Protection, visiting fellow Mark Morgan. Happy Thanksgiving, Mark. Yeah, and this time I'm going to go with you. Go Lions. Yes! That's how you win an interview. Great response. (laughs) Thank you. Go Lions. We will win.